all right welcome to practicing the scientific method using the paper towel lab if you don't have the data sheet you should get that uh, now so what is the scientific method in 965 Al Hazen said the following he, he said truth is sought for its own sake and those who are engaged upon the quest for anything for its own sake are not interested in the things finding the truth is difficult and finding the truth is difficult but many years later John Stuart Mill came up with a, a series of steps called the scientific method that help us to understand and get at the truth. He said first we'll come up with a question about the world and in our laboratory today we're going to be trying to determine which of these three brands of paper towels either Viva, Bounty or some generic brand we'll call this good value is the best type of paper towel for the restaurant. We want to create a hypothesis or one possible answer to the question based on what we know. Now we know that Viva is the most expensive brand and we'll hypothesize then that Viva is the best brand of the three. We'll next need to design an experiment and I'll get into that in just a moment but we'll have to use the tools that have been given to us. We have water, a ruler, a beaker, a little dropper, some scissors, a graduated cylinder and an electronic balance. That's what we're going to be using to find out which one of these three types of paper towels is the best for the restaurant. We're going to experiment and then collect data and we'll use a table to collect the data. We want to draw conclusions from the experiment and then we want to communicate these to others. So for example once we determine which of the three paper towels is the best for the restaurant we may be asked to uh, do a presentation for the CEO of the company or uh, to place it into the company newsletter for example and on that basis the change will or will be not be made to one of these three paper towel types. So let's go to our sh data sheet now. The question is which one of these three is the best for the restaurant? So the first thing we want to do is we want to write down some planning notes. What is the experiment going to be? What is it going to look like given these materials that we have here? So I've come up with a system that may or may not be the best system but we're going to be using that one in our mock lab today and this is what we're going to do. We're going to take some water and we're going to place it on the table just like this. Just place water liberally on the table just like this. There we go. Now I've cut paper strips from each of the three paper towels but I made them exactly the same size. Viva is four inches by four inches. Exactly the same size as Bounty, exactly the same size as Good Value. The reason for that is because I want the size of the paper towel sample to be a constant. That's an important concept for us to understand. Anything that is not being tested at the moment must remain constant. So I have to make sure that everything about the three paper towel types remains the same including the size. It wouldn't do me any good to have a big paper towel size for the Viva and a much smaller paper towel size for the good value. So I cut them to the same size and we call that the control. Now the next thing is I'm going to lay the paper towel strip into the water for a period of five seconds. I'll do five seconds for Viva, five seconds for Bounty, and five seconds for Good Value. That will ensure that each of the paper towels has equal opportunity to absorb the water. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the paper towel, carefully pick up the paper towel, and let it drip for a period of 10 seconds before I place it onto the electronic balance. Okay? It must be 10 seconds for each one because obviously a paper towel that is more absorbent is going to release less water. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll count out loud after, as I release the paper towel into the water. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now I'll raise the paper towel and let it drip for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, when I place the paper towel onto the boat, I get 6.55 grams. So we'll record that. So for the Viva, it was 
grams. All right, we'll try that again. Let me replace the boat and re-zero. All right, let me place a little bit more water here. Whoops, there we go, that's fine. And now we'll do the bounty. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and onto the boat. This time I get only five point eight zero grams. and we'll replace the boat. And the last one will be the generic type. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Onto the boat. This time we get 3.25 grams. 3.25 grams. And that's it. We've, de we've designed an experiment to determine which of the paper towels, Viva, Bounty, or Good Value, is the best for our experiment. Thank you and I'll see you next time.